Loki season 2 episode 2 thoughts this episode is called breaking brad another episode i love spoilers for everything mcu the top link in the description box will enable you to donate to the sag after strikers and i implore you to do so and then there are some links to videos that help explain why this is such an important strike so let's dive into the episode so yeah we see that Brad X5 is actually a an actor. The, the you know that's what he was before the TVA took him. And yeah, some some great you know stuff. I I like the misdirect he pulls where he's like, I'm gonna get everyone some booze, which is of course. You know, in certain circles, it's like, okay, you know, this we can trust this guy. He's going to give us alcohol. And, yeah, exciting chase. And I I thought Loki did a very nice job with the, the punk crowd. Because it is, yeah, you know, certain parts of London teeming with punks. And... Yeah, really, really clever with, you know, like, ganging up on him with the Lokis, and I don't know why, I just like the fact that the horns are there as shadows, but not really, like, just the fact that, you know, again, to intimidate Brad, and the way that, yeah, just really nicely done. Yeah, and they talk to OB, and he's like, well, I mean, on the other... Okay, so there's this temp pad that we have a question about. But on the other hand, the world is ending. Should the temp pad take priority? No, no, no please keep up. Hmm, that seems prudent. I really love how he's, you know, later on he's like, we're all gonna die, we're all gonna die. Oh, hi, we haven't met before. Just, yeah. And let's see. Yeah, and and I appreciate that Casey, you know. Yeah, I I like that you know he in in he's he's a fairly soft spoken, soft character. But here he really does show, no, he can be really, really useful. He can be a very effective member of the team. And, yeah, so they, they talk to, to Brad. And, you know, he confronts Loki. Hi, it's you. You're the problem. It's you. And, yeah, tries to shame Loki. And does get a reaction out of both Loki and Mobius. And, yeah, the knock-knock joke, wow. I mean, Owen Wilson and, and dad jokes, that just, it, it works too well to not do. And, yeah, and, you know, after the, the slap... Loki, you know, comforts Mobius over Key Lime Pie. And yeah, you know, you can understand Mobius is afraid, you know, what if I lost something wonderful, you know, and I'll never have it. And <laughs> I like the choice that, you know, Brad is lying on the floor because, you know, they didn't give him a chair or anything. It feels like relaxing. The, the point of view shot that's like upside down of them like struggling to get the machine in there. Yeah, that was, that was funny. And yeah, they torture information out of him, which is, you know, we, we know in reality, torture does not get is is not a reliable source of actionable intelligence 
And the fact that they make the scene kind of fun, like the thing with, oh, I don't know what button I'm pressing, I don't know what this is going to do, feels in bad taste for, for that. I do like that that was Mobius's plan. You know, he was just pretending. I was also sitting there like, there's no way that you can lock it from the inside in a way that it can't be unlocked from the outside. It's a cell. That makes no sense. You know, so... And... <clears throat> I, I really love that Casey is the founder of the OB fan club. He's like, read the novel. I've, I've memorized the manual and then he wants an autograph and he says sign next to your picture if there's a picture of OB in the manual how could Casey not recognize him just yeah let's see and when they go to Oklahoma you know, I think it's Mobius who says to Brad, you know, we can put you back in the gizmo, which I guess is TVA version of Gitmo, which, I don't know, I, I like to think that they just didn't think about the fact that those two words are one letter off and both are like torture prisons, but yeah. I mean... what you know we've we've now seen secret invasion so it's not like they're incapable of making these really really awful yeah and yeah we see sylvie works at the mcdonald's now which i mean i feel like that's a bit of a lateral move but okay you know being on the run your entire life or working at mcdonald's potato potato and, yeah, really great conversation between Loki and Sylvie. And some very obvious McDonald's product placement. And, you know, Brad and, and Mobius are talking in, inside the McDonald's. And it's like, you know, you tortured me. And then you slapped me. And, you know, Mobius is like, but I got you a milkshake. It's, it, dude, yeah. He's already going over all the awful things you've done to him. And, yeah. We learn it is indeed a setup. And Docs is bombing every branch. And we have a very great action scene of, you know, the, the trio trying to get to, to the control thing and you know, yeah, taking out as many of, of Doc's loyalists as possible. And we learn, you know, they didn't get all the loyalists, so there's something they can follow up on in later episodes, a potential threat. And almost all the branches are, are gone. Sylvie's is still there. but And they got a hit on the Renslayer Tempad, so that's probably going to be episode 3, they're going to follow up on that, and the Loyalists will appear later in the season, I can imagine. And, you know, Sylvie s says the TVA are the problem, they are rotten to the core, which, you know, that is the thing when you have, you know, sometimes the solution is to, to get rid of an institution that has been making things worse than they have to be. And... I like the detail that Jack is waiting for his mom to come pick him up because he's not old enough to have a car of his own. And, yeah, the... Yeah, really, really enjoying season two so far. And I don't think I really have anything else to add. Um, right, I appreciate that this thing of, you know, Loki and Sylvie, you know, 
yeah, they're they're not. It's not this really happy reunion. She still doesn't really. You know, last time they saw each other, he chose he who remains, or he who remains plan, and she rejected the. You know, she she killed he who remains because she was certain that he was lying. If not for that, yeah, you know, it would be ridiculous to to kill him. And yeah, she hasn't wavered in that belief, so she does feel like Loki shouldn't be, you know, coming to her. And I like her reaction. You know, he's like, you know, I saw the future. You see the future now. Neat. And, yeah, there's again this thing of, you know, but is it written or can they change it kind of thing? Which season one was, of course, that was a major theme in season one. Yeah, that is all I have for this one. Um, I might be putting, I haven't finished watching them yet, but uh, I saw Jesse Gender did a video on this episode. Once I've watched that one, you know, I might be putting the link in the description box and Screen Crush have their episode breakdown and things video. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Until next week, I low-key love this episode.